if somebody says you need to give us a piece of this, what you're generating for the people in order to remain in office to do a good work, what do we do? There's no conflict. If you know what you promise the people and you're determined to do, you do it. There's no conflict. Anybody who tells you about conflict is just telling you nonsense. If you promise the people, I've been in position, and I've said it publicly, I've been in position where I come to Abuja very often, and I'm told to my face by the authorities, your people are not happy with you. And this is coming from the number one, number two people in the country. And I said to them, well, I never promised anybody happiness. Go and look at my promises. I promise to fix school. I promise to do rural roads. I promise to do health, and I'm doing them. If anybody wants happiness, you go to the comedians and everybody. I'm not part of that. I never promise happiness. And that's it. You, there's no conflict between I was impeached. When I was impeached, I was impeached. My first impeachment was three items. Three. Number one item is that when I became governor, the office of the governor was bombed. During my predecessor's time, the lodge where the governor lived was bombed. So, in the budget that I met, there's 298 million naira to repair the office of the governor. And it's already been given to somebody. But when I came in, I saw that the office of the governor was consuming almost 30% of our budget. And I said, what is the education? Get? By the time we rearranged our budget to meet my, to be able to achieve our vision that we've chosen then, the only thing that the office of the governor can get about 5%. So there was need to reduce all avenues. So I said, please, we are going to do this by the red level. It was a proof budget of 28 million. Everything I spent was 43 million, 200,000. And because we didn't have the money, and I bought everything new except table. Because there was a table used by my one of previous governor that was there. And they said, no, it's old. I said, table is table. Bring the table, yeah. We don't need to buy a new table because it's table. It's just table to write. It doesn't matter. Then the, to refurbish the office of the governor, where the governor lived was 486 million budget. Everything cost us 81 million. Because they were trying to buy bed from Dubai, this from that, anything. It's all okay. There must be somebody who can do bed, yeah. Bed is bed. There's nothing, there's no difference between two beds. It's just to sleep. If you, even if they buy gold bed, if you, if you have reason to be awake, you'll be awake. <laughs> if they give you this one, people can sleep here and wake up. So, let's buy bed in Oka. And we bought bed in Oka. But what did they do? That was number two item. Number three item was our saving money. From day one, I said we must save at least 5% of our revenue. So, we have to do this. So it became a quarrel. But when I said conflict, when I started, when the impeachment started, it got to a stage where prominent Anambra people negotiated for me to give the money in order to stop. I said, no, I cannot do what I'm going to regret here. And we're not going to change it. We shut down. I was the only governor who didn't have a lodge in Abuja. I said, my predecessor bought that house for one billion naira. And I shut it down. I said, listen, Governor of Anambra said it doesn't live in Abuja. I have no reason to have a house in Abuja. We only use it to collect letter. They can deposit that letter anywhere. We'll go and collect it. Because we don't have the money. Not because of anything. Some other states have money. They can keep it. But we didn't have the money. We shut down the go presidential lodge, for example. A, every state had presidential lodge. We had it. But it was costing us money. We shut it down. One of us and wanted to come. He insisted he must sleep in Anambra State for three days. And I went to him. I said, Mr. President, you don't need to sleep in Anambra State. You can come in the morning and go in the evening. But if he insists, because he wanted to, he's, he's close to pastor's father. And he said, I want to see pastor's father 
It's my friend. I said, you know what? We won't quarrel. I have my lodge where I live with my bed and everything. I'm going to give it to you for one month. When you go, I come back. And that was where he said, I give it to his people, packed my things and left the lodge for two weeks. They went, they finished. I came back because I didn't have money to keep presidential lodge in Oka. So there's no conflict. We needed money for school. We needed money to fix school, to do this, to do this. And we needed to do it. There was no conflict at all. We focused on what we promised the people and we delivered it.